It all began with one ship, one dock, and one cargo of grain over 300 years ago, and has grown into the great port city of Baltimore. Only one high school in Maryland teaches students the skills to become a part of this economic engine. You can see Baltimore. In terms of the, the base economic number for the, what the Port of Baltimore means, it would be four billion, B with a B, four billion dollars. Having a transportation technology curriculum in a 300 year old port city just makes sense. It allows our students to access a huge industry in Baltimore City and be part of that. There's not just one particular pathway that they can choose, they can choose multiple pathways. Our students are seeing firsthand and getting the skills inside of the school, whether it is through their deck operations, through the stewards class, the engineering, whether it's for dual enrollment, with our local community colleges. We would give them a very clear pathway to achieve exactly what their goals are because it's not the kind of opportunities you see on a daily basis, particularly in an urban setting. It feels accessible to students, even when some students have, been, have become disengaged in school. For the parents, I think it's something that they could see your child progressing very quickly. I believe that the transportation technology program has, has the capacity to re-engage our students. Hips, push those knees out, push those knees out. Beautiful, you got this. We're parking. It's really exciting for the kids to get this big picture idea of working on the water in Baltimore, outside of Baltimore, and even possibly outside of the United States. On the States. water and attracted to the water and boats. And I knew that one day uh, that I'd be running a boat for my career. I wasn't exactly sure how that was going to happen. It's very powerful for kids to understand that at 18 they can get on a ship and go to work and earn a livable wage anywhere in the world. Port of Baltimore handles more cars than any other port in the U.S. The Port of Baltimore also handles more roll-on, roll-off or heavy farm and construction machinery, more of that type of cargo than any other port in the U.S. The port generates over 13,600 direct jobs, but even broader than that, the Port of Baltimore is responsible for nearly 130,000 jobs in the state of Maryland. Average pay for an ordinary seaman entry level is about $42,000 a year. Personally, I was making $199 a day, and then as a deckhand, I went to $217 a day. Being a merchant marine just gives you a lot of skills to do all kinds of things. And as you move up, the pay grade gets higher. One chief engineer, he was making about 600 a day. Captain was making about 800 a day. You know, our kids have summer jobs paid for by Sagamore, and that's really interesting. These kids get real life experience. With this program, the uh, Seagorn Pathway, they offer an internship with Edison Swest, and I worked out in the Gulf. I did that intern twice. The kids go for two weeks, and it's an internship that's paid. Just being on a ship is like a whole new environment and I just learned a lot. We do a couple of big trips during the year. We've gotten to do Tiger Cruises with the U.S. Navy on the Oak Hill. I was already prepared, like it, nothing was a surprise. I know there's no other school in the city, in the county, in the state of Maryland that has the Merchant Mariner program, but I also don't think there's anybody else who offers the amount of experiences that this program is offering. Maryland, Ohio. The opportunities will present themselves for multiple students at multiple levels to do multiple things. It's an opportunity that has high school to work opportunities available, high school to college opportunities. There is mentorship, there is guidance, there are examples of someone who it has come from an urban setting and where they have gone and how far they have achieved. So after I graduated from Morgan State, I was recruited by a company uh, for the, uh, they had all the Navy's two South contracts. And then from there, I had opportunity to move up very fast. I had a chance to work for the Coast Guard for the Fast Response Cutter, the FRC program. 
they trained, they gave me all the training you can you can imagine. And not only the training was uh, great, you know, again, we got my masters when I was at the Coast Guard, chance to travel and see different places, uh, even as a civilian, it was always exciting for me. Uh, Coast Guard, they, they really drive on having an employee, having to making sure they're the best individual they can be, so you can be successful, so they can be successful. And once you get your Merchant Marine credentials and your TWIC card, it's yours forever. Transtech students are successfully developing their careers. And I just think that everybody's excited about what the opportunities are going to present to the urban kids that live in the city. I'm here to tell you that the Port of Baltimore and working at the Port of Baltimore is an excellent career choice. And our students are learning the value of that industry right in their hometown. As the chair of the Maritime Advisory Board at the New Era Academy, the community partners and I are committed to the success of the Transportation Technologies Program. This unique Maryland program will transport you to college and transportation careers throughout the world. Mobilize your future at Transtech!